I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Isn't it, men? Life in the rough, in the company of friends, sitting beside a carefree river. I'm here for the mead, Lord Boy. I just adore the laughter of the water, the spice of mead in the nose, the spittle of shouting Danes. Norse, you trollwort! Norse, yes, forgive me. Norse. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skald come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no skald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your mead. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You are talking with him now, and you are... Ah, oh, by God's blood! My day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercy and soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again? It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son, robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. <laughs> <laughs> 
if it comes to that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear maybe it's courting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Rolo, returned from Frankie already. This is a surprise. Is the Lady Astrid well? She is. Had a rough few weeks upon our return, but she is on her feet and with her family. And I am looking for a new adventure. If I remember right, you said I might find it here with your plan. That's right. Your presence is much needed and well appreciated. Settle in and we'll sail soon enough. like to reorganize the crew. Done? I'm off. Be well, friend. Survey the area, Sudan. Stretch your wings, Sudan. Hunwalwa, son of our elderman, thinks himself a real wonder, slouching with the common folk. Hunt. Ah, leave him be. If a man wants to drink in the dirt, let him. So this is Hunwald's safe haven. Though we be a Mercian shire today, tomorrow the kingdom of Lindsay will rise again. As free as the wind on the back of my neck. Your line of kings died long ago, Hornwald. We're in Lincolnshire now. Do you need a map to remember? Alfgar, my dear man. I do not need a map to prove what my bones know for truth. Oh, 
Grunwald. Who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Humbald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Humbald, your father's ill. And your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan? Or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln. Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single dame will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in. Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings, so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. Ah! Oh! I told Hunmold to stay near. Where did he wander off to? They call this pasty whelp a lord. Look at him, soft as unbaked bread. Villains, leave me be! <laughs> leave him be! Oh, Jesus! He's pulling a bloody dying! This oh, ain't worth the I silver days Within an inch of my life, oh. you will survive. I must continue as you would. If I should expire, avenge me. Are you hurt? 
Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? There! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No. I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes and... He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right. He's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. This place is heavily guarded.
Let the sail out. Let's have a song. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the call. Let's raise my hood here. Save it for later. of your dragon boat. Ah. Evil. Why does it not surprise me to see you here? Leovrin. Following through with chasing down Burkrid, I see. You said it yourself. His betrayal is worth a thousand deaths. I'm just waiting on a ship to take me to Rome. You'll give him my regards? Gladly. This town was your home? It was, and should still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will walk proudly among the people I love. How was your father the last time you saw him? He was quite poorly. But he has the heart of a lion and the Holy Spirit itself within him. A bout of illness would never bring him low. Did he think highly of you? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. The thanes and clergy of Lincolnshire are not fond of me, but they do not yet know me well enough. Not truly. The people of Lincoln are not welcoming to Danes. It's troubling, I know. Your folk are strong, hardy, noble. Creatures straight out of stories and tales. We are also a living people, Hunwald. More than a story. We are real and flawed. Oh yes, of this I am well aware. Blunt and stalwart, honest and true. You have a Dane lady loved with all those qualities. You have a Dane lover, and she's a Valkyrie as well, I suppose. Oh 
Grunwald! Praise God, you live! I do, my dear Regenhead. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, Dane. Who was that fellow? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place, and he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. They will attack on sight here. Guards here are vigilant.
Lincoln seems a good place to trade. Does it? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread, poultry, and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. There's damp on the air. I fear grey clouds will gather soon. Aye, and foul deeds are brewing. The horses can feel it too. That's them being horses, mate. Well, Frank Ingram, with a rest. Who's Bill? We are seeing Flutterman! Follow me to the casks. Hey, that's a good idea. I guess I've run out of meat. news of your return. You might have sent a messenger and spared us the suspense. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ha. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin, I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbeor, that is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. 
In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against a Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwar. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. If I meant to murder you, these stones would be slick with your gore already. Such violence. Good heavens! God must have purpose for you pagans in his holy plan, but I confess to utter bafflement. Hanard, your father was at my hospice for a time, but he left of his own accord, without saying a word. That's all we know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Something on your mind? Eivor, I realize the strides you've taken to aid me. My oath to you will last an eternity. You'll owe me a blood oath when all our work is done. Blood? Dear Lord. Wait here till I return. Can your guard speak through you, Hedavril? Can he tell me where the old one is? Our Lord is not a trained dog who speaks on command. My goodness. When did you last see the Elderman? Leave us be. It is not your place to be asking such questions. Brush won't hide you. Hunwald's <laughs> father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Do you know where your elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. Where is the Elderman? Did you see where he went? I, I don't know. Elderman who? Uh, sorry, I I'm busy. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. 
And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. Mercians, nobles use our tunnels, if you ask me. What choice do we have? At least this way, they'll leave us be. They killed one of their own. What's to stop them from splitting our skulls as well? Because they fear us, see? No one takes us for fools, you got it. Remember, God punishes those who wish ill upon... upon... Go on. Ill upon who? Eh? Oh, sorry, I, I was miles away. What? Christ Jesus, you haven't got enough brains in your head to blink, have you? These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Thank you. 
should not be seen in this area. More Mercians traipsing across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbrock without someone demanding some ungodly deals. Never again will we bend to the mercy and crown. Fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits didn't fare so well. cloak, the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed in this way.
Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Wallingbrook Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbrook Castle. That's my best lead. Yeah. 